we're pretty chill in San Francisco. We're known for being laid back and hanging out in cafes, but we also have an unusually high rider fatality rate. Motorcycle riders are about 2% of road users here, but they account for as much as 20% of traffic fatalities. We need to change that number to zero, and you can help. You might be thinking, you're an experienced rider, you already know how to ride safely. But there is truth in the stats. 96% of rider crash victims are men. 65% are 21 to 40 years old. And 73% live in San Francisco. Sound like you? Well, that's why you're the best person to talk about safe riding in San Francisco. Why are riders crashing? Speed, hands down, the main reason. Some streets feel safe. There's plenty of room, so your speed creeps up. But cars sometimes can't see you and pull out too fast. Nearly 60% of rider at fault crashes are because of unsafe speeds. Driving faster than the speed limit. Let's try that again. It's a lot easier to stop and fully control your bike when you ride at a safe speed within the speed limit. Now that you're riding at a safe speed, you still have to be aware of all those cars on the road. Just assume the other drivers don't see you, especially when they're making left turns. The number one cause of auto at fault crashes is the driver turning left without yielding. Okay, do over. You might have the right of way, but keep a wary eye on drivers in intersections. They're unpredictable. And because you ride in San Francisco, you get some special situations to deal with. Fog. We get fog that's almost rain. Dust and oil build up on streets, and heavy fog or the first rain makes the road really slick, especially roadway paint. Motorcycles lose traction in the rain much more easily than cars do. You might need to go slower than the speed limit to be safe. We also have muni tracks and metal plates on the road just about everywhere. You'll cross more easily at a 90 degree angle. Just hit them at your cruising speed without turning, braking, or accelerating. If you do need to slow down, brake with your engine before you gently apply the brakes. And we have lots of steep hills that you get to go up and down and up and down in stop and go traffic. Not like that. You'll have a better ride when you're able to brake gently. While riders need to be vigilant everywhere, three streets have really high rates of severe and fatal injuries for riders. DeBose Avenue and 13th Street, Mission Street, and Van Ness Avenue. It's the triangle of peril. Imagine riding those streets just when everyone is leaving work. Tired, hungry, maybe a little cranky. The most dangerous time to be on a motorcycle is between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. Extra caution if you're riding then. Hey, no cocktail until you get home, because 40% of fatal crashes involve alcohol. Well, someone is sure glad to see you. Way to ride safe. Look, you can't avoid all the trouble out there, but you can significantly reduce injuries. Let's check out your gear. Helmet, Department of Transportation compliant, and it covers the whole face. Jacket, gloves, pants, boots. Over half of rider injuries are to extremities, and 90% of injured riders have painful skin burns. When you're riding, you're a role model. You can share safe riding tips and advocate for motorcycle safety. See a pothole? An obstacle on the road? You can call 311 about any unsafe conditions, even uneven road surfaces. Call. Let us know about it. It's all about the safe ride. San Francisco is aiming for zero traffic deaths. It's called Vision Zero, and you're an important part of it. You can spread the word about Vision Zero through social media. As an advocate, you can join the Vision Zero task force. Visit visionzerosf.org and click Get Involved. San Francisco, let's make every ride a safe ride. The Vision Zero San Francisco Motorcycle Safety Outreach Program is funded by the California Office of Traffic Safety and administered by the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency, the San Francisco Department of Public Health, and the San Francisco Police Department. 